Yo, what's up Giants fans, Hub Watchers, YouTube and Rumble subscribers, Twitter and Instagram followers, it's Kush back at it again with another New York Giants update video. Now you guys are probably seeing this sometime around 9.30, maybe even 10 at night I'm going to assume that's because couldn't do Young Guns tonight, KB um, couldn't make it and then I'm also feeling quite tired, I, I don't think I have it in me to run the podcast tonight, but it, this gives me a chance to kind of make a quick video for you guys. Um. Because of the, rec um, the recent updates that we got through Twitter about Pastor Graham regarding the defensive coordinator position, the head coaching job in um, Minnesota, along with a couple other guys that we did hire throughout this um, entire process over the past couple of days as our position coaches. And then I might be even putting out another video, although that might be in the morning, um, regarding the offensive coordinator candidates. But first and foremost, of course, let's get to Patrick Graham. As reported by three guys, Tom Pelissero, Adam Schefter, and Mike Gar Garofolo, right? Pelissero, Garofolo, that's kind of funny that they have similar names. Um, the guy that's emerged as the favorite in Minnesota to take their head coaching job after Jim Harbaugh has said that he's going back to um to Michigan is Kevin McConnell or Kevin O'Connell. The current offensive coordinator of the Rams, which means that Patrick Graham is set to come back to the Giants as our defensive coordinator. We all know uh, Dable and Shane has put out there that unless he gets a head coaching job, he is going to be our defensive coordinator. or I should say going to continue to be our defensive coordinator. And I'll read out a couple of these tweets to you. In order, first from Adam Schefter, Rams OC, Kevin O'Connell has emerged as the favorite in Minnesota per Dan Graziano and myself. Then Tom Pelissero tweeted eight minutes later, the Vikings are zeroing in in Rams OC. Kevin O'Connell is their head coach. Sources tell me and Ian Rappaport the deal can't be finalized until after the Super Bowl. And then finally from Garofolo, he says with Kevin O'Connell going to the Vikings head coaching job after the Super Bowl, Patrick Graham is expected to return to the Giants as the defensive coordinator in Brian Dable's coaching staff. Now, I'll say this. I definitely feel like they wasted this man's time a little bit. Um, because they just had a nine hour interview with him was it yesterday or the day before and up until those tweets came out because first i thought patrick graham was going to get the job in minnesota as the head coach after um harbaugh came out and said that he's going back to michigan i was like oh it's a done deal ain't nobody else in the nfl got a nine hour interview with a team can you imagine what he was saying Working his tail off, presenting himself as the perfect head coach candidate for nine hours, talking shop, football, you know, defensive schemes and whatnot. That's kind of crazy. <laughs> that's that's kind of crazy. And and it's definitely I don't it's definitely uh, an insane coincidence that I'm talking about uh them wasting his time considering all the things that's happening with Brian Flores right now in regards to the Rooney rule hiring black coaches in the NFL and essentially wasting their times in interviews but i definitely feel like this one right here you know i don't know it's the first thing that came to mind obviously there's no concrete evidence to, evidence to suggest that they weren't actually interested in him but i just felt i definitely felt a little strange and weird when i saw these tweets about kevin o'connell who kind of came out of nowhere it seems like uh for this job in minnesota we know he's part of the Sean McVay tree, which has been very popular in the NFL and kind of successful in the NFL over the past couple of years. But I was just like, wow, y'all interviewed him for nine hours for what, man? That's that's really crazy. But I am happy that we have Patrick Graham back. I've always said um, I would like what I think would be an upgrade to Don Wake Martindale. But Patrick Graham is a great defensive coordinator, had us as a top 10 defense in 2020 and a top 15 one this year, despite a lot of injuries and a lot of challenges that came his way. Um, the same injury, um, the same challenges that were on the offensive side of the ball were on the defensive side of the ball. He managed to overcome it. We saw great things from our rookie Aziz Ojolari. We say we saw great things and progress from our second year player in Xavier McKinney. Um, this is the man that made Leonard Williams get the contract that he got. Patrick Graham is a great thinker and um, a great defensive mind in the NFL. We've seen that working with the talent level that he has had at the Giants and just squeezing as much as he can out of them. Nothing but happy to retain this man as our defensive coordinator. Then we also, I believe this was yesterday or the day before, one out of the two, hired Bobby Johnson as our offensive line coach. Bobby Johnson directly from the Buffalo Bills, continuing that Bills 
pipeline and there is another person in here as well from that bills pipeline i think it, i should have him up there yep uh shay shay tierney i believe is how you pronounce his name um he was the bills quarterbacks coach uh quarterback coach i worked directly with josh allen coming in now i'm gonna assume to replace our current quarterback coach jerry shaplinski kind of blanking on it um and I'll, let me speak on bobby johnson first i'll give you a quick rundown on this guy so first and foremost i spoke to a couple of bills fans about him i looked at the bills twitter reaction to them losing their offensive line coach because they are losing quite a bit of their offensive staff to us the new york giants here and it was very mixed reactions some people like the fact that he's um gone they believe that he could have done something better with the bills offensive line and others are not so happy that he's gone and now with the new york giants and let me just read to you here from bigblueview.com what they had to say on him johnson carried a monumental task in 2021 with the bills offensive line in a constant state of flux only mitch moore started every game at the same position left tackle Dion dawkins started training camp on the covid 19 list and didn't round into form until a few weeks into the season they flipped right tackle Daryl Williams inside to right guard and started rookie Spencer Brown for the remainder of the season at right tackle. John Phil Filisanio, Ike Butker, Cody Ford, and Ryan Bates all started games at the guard position in addition to Williams. It was a constant struggle with COVID as well. And Dawkins, Brown, and Phil Feliciano all missed time. I don't know why I'm tripping over his name a little bit there. And then they also said one thing worth noting uh bobby johnson's connection was through brian dable not through the mcdermott or frazier he also worked in indianapolis under offensive line coach dave the guglielmo dave uh, dable's former online coach in miami and colleague in new england now of course we as giants fans we have experience with googs he was our offensive line coach for the second half of the 2020 year the half that I guess you could argue was the better half of that year in general. Of course, he didn't end up staying our offensive line coach. We don't need to revisit that year to know how that line performed overall. But we do know that it did improve towards the second half of the season because that's also where you saw Andrew Thomas improve towards the second half of the season. Uh, Googs, of course, is also credited with helping turning around that Indianapolis line. And I am going to remain neutral on this hiring until we see how our uh, offensive line turns out because we are definitely going that bill's pipeline i mean you see with every coach they come in and they hire who they know or who they've worked with before or who they had experience with you saw it with judge before uh dable you saw it with Shermer before judge and you see it around the nfl all the time a quick coaching history um for bobby johnson he was with the bills before then the colts before then the raiders as a tight ends coach before that the lions as a offensive line assistant and tight ends coach jaguars tight ends coach and bills all the way back in 2011 as the assistant offensive line coach so he's either always been involved with the line or always been involved with the tight ends and then now a rundown on shay t ernie and this is from bigblueview.com this is what they say about him he was a football analyst and coaching intern for the eagles from 2013 to 2015 then worked at Alabama for two seasons as an offensive analyst and joined the Bills staff as an offensive assistant in 2018. He was promoted to assistant quarterbacks coach in 2020. Um, and this is what Josh Allen had to say about Tierney back in August. He's been here since day one. He's basically Dable's right-hand man. He makes all the cut-ups, makes all the install pages. He runs our scout defense, just the energy and juice that he brings to. He's just one of the guys that loves football, and that's what I love about him. When he's in our meeting rooms, it's awesome because of the things that he sees. He's been around a lot of really good coaches in the past, and he's been able to take some of the things from those guys and apply it to what he's doing now. He's still very young, but I think he's got a long future in this NFL business. So like I said, off, um, offensive assistant slash assistants, uh, quarterbacks coach, because we all know Ken Dorsey was the quarterback coach over there for the Bills. Very good and encouraging things to hear from Josh Allen, especially from somebody that was once again kind of an assistant coach, not even necessarily the actual quarterback coach in Buffalo. I mean, what we saw from Jerry Shaplinski, we definitely saw improvement in Daniel Jones's game in terms of his footwork and decision making at times. But we also, we we have lamented as Giants fans about some stuff that he hasn't improved upon that should be um, at this point in his career. And then finally, last piece of news, Tyke Tolbert, our wide receivers coach, is now our former wide receivers coach. He's joining the Bills, I'm not the Bills, the Bears coaching staff. So we lose a, um, a wide receivers coach here. I made a joke in yesterday's skit saying that we're going to take 
the Bills wide receivers coach. If that might actually happen the way things have been going. Uh, but Ty Tober has been with us, I want to say, for, for the past three or four years. He's done an okay job with our wide receiving core. I feel like almost underperformed. Uh, we've we've had really talented guys in the room this past year. Not so much in 2020, but in 2019 as well, we had tw uh, talented guys. I can't remember if he was with us in 2018. And there are a lot of injuries. That is one thing to keep in mind. There are a lot of injuries on our wide receiving core for like the past five years. So maybe that's why they've been underperforming. But not to put down Ty Tober or anything. I mean, he got John Ross this year. And at least at the times that we threw to John Ross, it seems like he didn't have that catching problem that's always been affecting him since he entered the league in 2017. But best of luck to Ty Tober. He's very respected around the league, and I hope he has success over there in Bears land. But that's going to be it for this video covering the us keeping Patrick Garam, uh, gaining Bobby Johnson and Shea Tierney, and losing Ty Tolbert. Let me know what you guys think about it, and then... Either later tonight or sometime in tomorrow morning, I will have the Offensive Candidates uh, video up. That's it for now, and I'm out. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Thank you for checking out my channel, The Hub, here on Giants YouTube. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you hear every time I put out a video. Like it, share, and subscribe, and I'm out.